What up, players? It's Warboss Tail up in this mud. I clean my little area, get all these miscellaneous plastic pieces out of the way, and um, welcome you to my Venom unboxing for the Dark Eldar. I'm going to show you what's on these sprues and then um, take you through a little bit of a build video on how I'm going to build mine. So let's take a look, shall we? We've got two large sprues. You've got the flying base, flying pegs, and these are the um, awesome new rounded pegs that these Dark Eldar have, which is just fantastic. It means you can pose your guys really well. <coughs> um, to Cockpit, win cockpit windows, and I, do you use both? You use one or the other. It looks like one of them makes more like a convertible one, and this one is a entirely closed canopy, so it's gonna be awesome. All right, let's take a look at the sprues. Sprue number one is the main body here, and you've got a little bit of wings for the or uh, blades for those of you who built raiders or ravagers before you've probably familiar with those. We've got Dark Eldar crew people legs. So I can get it into a good focus. Yeah. Um, legs, pilot or gunner body parts for all the crew. Here you see some trophy racks. Looks like a lot of these pieces like these they just kind of pretty much recycled the way the bodies are put together. For those of you who've put together crewmen for raiders before, <coughs> then you'll be familiar with the, you know, the hanging crewmen hanging off the side. But these are witches, not Cabalite warriors, because you can tell the style of their leggings are different, and they've got uh, different torsos rather than full clothes, enclosed body armor. They're um, open, and their arms are bare, so these much more resemble Hellions. A little stabby weapon. These are good uh, bits that you can put in your bit box if you want to change the look of your regular witches. If some of them are just feeling a little bit too um, boring, this is a cool looking chain flail-ish kind of weapon, <coughs> close combat weapon that you can substitute. So looks like these parts are yeah, looking at the arms and the way they're uh, the way they're made. It looks like the they can be totally interchangeable with a regular Dark Eldar witch set. Let's also now look at the heads, which are also a uh, great joy and um, always worth the detail. Sorry, I'm trying to get a good focus. So you've got, looks like you've got two male, two female, is that is that correct? Yeah, this one looks like a male. It's got the ninja hood, female, Female? Male? I don't know, it's hard to tell with these Dark Eldar. In fact, you can give them all makeup and make them look female or male. Um, so there's the first sprue. Let's take a look at the others. The other one. First we've got the bottom of the uh, of the Venom, and this is very much like the Raider or Ravager underneath, so it's cool. Um, you've got the Weaponry, and not sure what all these are. But we'll take a look at it later. Ah, this is very reminiscent of the the raider, you know, the the grill deck. More weapons, real, uh, thrusters, some chain, snare things. You dark out there will know what these are. The cockpit. Oh, awesome! Look at all these extra heads you've got. That's cool. You could definitely put these into your um, into your bits collection. There's a spooky cobra commander face mask one. Male one, male one, male one. So I wonder if the other one is all females. Eh, I don't know. We got things for hanging on to. I think you can use either one, these two or these two for hanging your crewmen off of. Uh, yeah. So, really interesting. And let's uh, take a look now at the directions. See what that's about. So, you've got the 3D imaging which is really super helpful nowadays with um, when building your models. It's a lot easier to figure out how to put things together. It shows you the different options. Just choose one or this one. Choose this one or this one. It can really help you when you're planning them out. Um, so I'm planning... Oh, it shows you how to build each of the crew members. 
And what I love about these, these directions to it is it tells you don't glue arm until positioned on rack or balustrade. So it really encourages you to like uh, dry fit or glue the entire body together and then prop them on the, on the thing to make sure that they fit whatever angle. <coughs> um, so that's good. Crew assembly shows you what, what it looks like finished. Step by step on how to build the, the pilot in the seat. Looks like the pilot's legs are already in it or the lower half is already in it because the pilot is only a torso, <coughs> arms, a control panel and a head. And um, yes, yeah, so you've got a splinter cannon. Looks like you've got a splinter cannon for the top and then either a choice of a twin link splinter rifle or a splinter cannon at the bottom. And uh, my client would like two, uh, the, the, the double splinter cannon option. So I'm gonna be building this with splinter cannon on the bottom at the top. All right, I am going to now try to put this thing together. Uh, as, as, a, as a product review video, I'm gonna see if I can get all the way through. If, I, if some things start to stick out to me and I think like, oh, I, I think people should know about this, I'll start filming again, I'll start the camera rolling again, let you know if I run into any problems or hiccups or anything that's kind of messing me up. <clears throat> but if not, we'll end with the finished part of this video where I'll show you the finished model. I'll let you know how hard it was to put together. I'll also go over any bits that are left on the sprue that can go into your bits box. And I will, um, yeah, we'll, we'll end there, make it ready for painting. Yeah, so look in the cockpit, you can see that uh, the bottom half of the body, the legs are molded into the, let's get some light paint. Legs are molded into the cockpit itself, so that's pretty cool. All right, players, I will get started building this and we'll see you in just a little while. Barf, barf. All right, players, we are back. Here is the Venom. I built it to look pretty simple, and um, because the commission jobs that I've done for this client before have been to keep them simple without uh, trophy racks and stuff like that, so I went for the sleek looking design for these uh, handrails on the sides, the balustrades, and um, simple little little razors down on the under side of it. You can see the two splinter cannons, one down here and one at the top. The hardest thing for building this, for those of you who haven't built this before, is I thought getting the pilot's arms in. Um, the, the torso onto the arms, onto the head, the, the whole cockpit section was a little bit of a challenge for me and I remember thinking that that was the hardest part. Uh, what else? I've got my two crewmen on the side. Client said not to glue them on, um, just like the raiders that I built, he didn't want them glued on, so I'm gonna leave them separate, paint them up, and then give them to him separately. So, let's look at what is left on the sprue. It can go into your bits box after you build up one of these venoms. You've got the twin linked, twin linked uh, splinter rifles here. You have whichever, if you don't use the the razors on the under side of the venom, you've you've got these uh, chain flails looking things. And here we have alternate handrails for the crewmen to hang off of. Oh. So it's like a Tyranid skull, that looks pretty cool. I haven't seen one of those on um, any other Dark dark Eldar pieces. This Tyranid skull right there. That's pretty cool. You have one, two, three extra heads on this one, as well as a flag pendant. And um, you've got a third if you decide not to equip this venom with the weapon on the underside, you've got a third little razor thing there. You also have alternate close combat weapons. So here are two right there. You've got trophy racks and um, halberd looking thing. 
Um, this awesome close combat weapon, which I didn't want to waste on the crewmen, I want to put it on a, another witch, um, just because it's such an awesome piece. You have another head here for the female, and some more spiky bits, and under uh, reverse grip knives, which I think is really awesome. So, pretty much the bits you get extra are some close combat weapons for your witches, if you are building a lot of witches in your army. So I would suggest that if you are going to have venoms and witches in your force that you actually build your venoms first so that you can have in your bits box all of these extra close combat weapons for when you're building your witches and you want a little bit of variety. So there you go. There's the unboxing of the venom. I'm going to start painting it up for my project Dark Eldar along with these two extra crewmen and um, hopefully can get these done by St. Patty's Day. The cockpit also, I didn't put in. I decided to, I'm, I'm going to go with the uh, convertible looking one, but I'm leaving it off for now because I'm going to have to, you know, spray prime the model and I don't want to get any paint on the cockpit. Even afterwards when you're painting, you don't want to get any paint on the, on the plastic, clear plastic. So I'm going to go off and paint this now and I'll keep you updated on my progress for that. Thanks you guys all for watching and for leaving comments and liking and um, the Krell video is doing really well, getting a lot of views and getting a lot of people into fantasy and vampire accounts so hopefully this video will help out any of you beginning or prospective Dark Eldar players out there who wanted to know what was in the Venom box, what comes with it, how easy it was to build and all that except for the cockpit part. and. Um, See, was, the crewman was a, a little bit hard to to build also on the gun but um, like overall the venom itself was pretty easy to put together the instructions were really easy to read the model is really sleek looking if you have a plastic glue that isn't going to you know splatter all over the place when you use it if you have a fine tip applicator like I use for my plastic glue here then it's gonna be really simple to um, keep any glue from getting all over the place while you're putting it together. So for um, ease of construction I would give it a thumbs up, War Boss thumbs up for um, extra bits. You know there's not that much but really the, you, you, the thing only comes with two frames, two sprues and I think you get a good variety of, you get extra heads, you get extra arms so I think, I think it's a thumbs up for extra bits because it's something you know. And for how the model looks, I think it looks really cool. It really matches the dark Eldar aesthetic of being really pointy and sleek. And um, I can't wait to put it together. So thumbs up all around for the Venom kit. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.